Okay, so now remember, let us see how do we handle the special angles. How many special angles do we have in three? Basically, we have three. Now, there's that one we call the 30 degrees, the special angle, 45 degrees, and then 60 degrees. All these ones we call them special. Why? Because they have specific ratios they are equal in two. And those ratios, most of them are rational functions, irrational functions, in science. So let us go through them and see. The special angle is 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. Now, consider an equatorial triangle below. We know that an equatorial triangle has all sides equal and all angles equal. 60, 60, 60, and these sides are two units from there. Now, if I divide this into two, when I divide this into two, I have this. I divide this angle into 30, 30. And then now, if I divide this into two, if this was two units from here to here, now this becomes one and this becomes one. Now, if I consider this triangle here and I pull it out there, this triangle here, this I have this and this is this side. Because to use a right angle triangle, sorry, to use a right angle triangle, we need all sides known. So I'm missing this side, but that's not a problem because I know I can use Pythagoras theorem, which says, that when I square this side and this side is squared, I will be getting the wrong side squared. So CM squared plus AM squared will be equal to SC squared. Our AM is 1 and then our SC is 2. When you square 2, you get 4. When I take this one and I subtract it from 4, I'll be having 3. Then you get a square root and be having 3. Now, meaning that now my CM here is now. Root 3. So if it's root 3, how can I get now this angle? Now look at this. When I have now this as the angle I'm basing on, 60, where is the opposite? This is the opposite, this is the lesson, this is the opponent. Now, using our man, our major man, which is we say so, ka, toa. Using him to recall these ratios. Now, if I'm to get sine 60, sine 60 will be opposite or by hypotenuse. So, my opposite over the hypotenuse. That's why I have root 3 the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is 2. When I come out cos 60, already it's adjacent, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. My adjacent on 60 is 1. Then, I mean, my adjacent on 60 is going to be 1. Then, the hypotenuse is 2. That's why I have a half. Then for tan 60, for it is given by open or by adjacent. So you see that my open is root 3 and the adjacent is 1, which is this and just 3. Now, when I come down to 30, now we look at where 30 is. My 30 is here. Now when the 30 is here, we are facing on these degrees. Now the sides are going to change. Now this will be my open, this will be my adjacent, and this will be made as my hypotenuse. Now we look at tan 30, the opposite is here. Then the hypotenuse is here when we are facing on 30. That's why I'm having a half. Then cos 30, this is 30, then it's adjacent over hypotenuse. That's why you have root 3 over 2. Then tan 30, it's given by opposite over adjacent. This. But now in the sides, you know, we don't want sides down. I mean, we don't want these irrational functions down. We rationalize them. So rationalizing is that 1 over root 3. Let root 3 over 3. That's why from here I'm coming to this. Now, this one is sending us to get the 60 and then the 30. As you see, I think you that these are ratios. The way you call them special angles, why? Because if you press this root 3 over 2 on the calculator and someone who presses this, we are going all to get the same things. Let me show you on my calculator here. So if I press, you look at this. When I press cos 30, you look at the answer I'm getting. Now, let me place also, when you look there, I start cos is root 3 over 2. Let me press also that and see. Root 3 divided by 2. You look at the answer. Remember, this is the answer we got last. Then look at the answer. You see, it's the same. So, this always, these ones are equaling to those three functions. That's why you call them special angle. So, so that this one. This one, when you press this on the cutter, it will be equal to this also on cutter. That's why you call them special angles. The same for these 60s and then it has sigma 45. Now we are going to consider an isosceles right angle triangle. Isosceles will mean that 
two sides are equal. One of, I mean, two sides of these two angles. I mean, this triangle are equal. So let me take this and this. Then, if two sides are equal, it means that in properties of a series triangle, even these angles are equal. But because this is already 90 right angle, it means that the balance is 90. So if I divide 90 by two sides, these two angles are equal, I'll be getting 45, 45. Simple as that. Now, so that this longer side is missing, but I have this, I have this, so I can get a longer side in the Pythagoras. So PR would be PQ squared plus QR squared. This is one and this is one. When I add them, I get two. Get the square root, get PR, this will be now root two. Like that. Now, I want 45. Why? Because it's a special angle we are missing. The sine 45 is, if I'm here, be the opposite over hypotenuse, which is 1 over root 2. Then the same for cos, for if it's adjacent over hypotenuse, which will be like the same as this. Then tan 45, tan is given by opposite over adjacent, which is 1 over 1, which is 1. Now, we say we don't want this, we rationalize. This is how I rationalize. We multiply this down and up. So root 2 times root 2, we get 2. Root 2 times 1, we get 2. Push to there. That's why from here I'm saying it's equal to this. This should be process the same here and so on. Now, how are those questions set? They will tell you that simplify the following. If it's not you have a value 6 and 45, don't go through anything. And you are not supposed to use the calculator here. They say without using the calculator, simplify the problem. Whenever I said you have 16, 30, this set of angles in your questions, don't waste time. You know that side is 30, from here is a half. So this will be then plus cos 60. Cos 60 is what? Is a half. And this will be, when you add this and this, you get a 1 with the ease. So you have simplified that. Simple as that. When you come out tan 45, you come out to our tan 45. Our tan 45 is 1. So this will be 1 minus tan 30. Tan 30 is it? root 3. Over three. Can you simplify? We cross multiply. So if I cross multiply, I'll be having three minus root three, then over three, and we have finished that question. Now, this is the one is here over. We did, we have cross multiply. This is over one. We cross multiply like this. We cross multiply up, then down like that. Then when you come to this. Tan of 5 is 1 plus tan 60 from there, half tan 60, this is root 3. Tan 60 here. Then over tan of 5 is 1 minus tan squared is root 3. Now here we have not <laughs> forbidden. Here we have to go and rationalize these sides. We say now we rationalize and multiply this, the conjugate of this up and down. So from here I'll have now. 1 plus root 3 over 1 minus root 3. The conjugate of this is 1 plus root 3. Then I multiply it up and also down 1 plus root 3. Like this, is that I've changed nothing. Then from here, we say this one, we multiply this. We are the one that this will get 1 plus, okay, root 3 plus root 3. This time this will get one, this time this will get this, this time this will get this, then root three times root three, you get a three, the whole over. Here we say difference of the squares. So we square this, then minus root three, the whole square. And see so this we have. What do we have here? We have one plus three, which is four, then plus one plus one, the coefficient is one, and here is one, get root three, then this will be. 1 minus, when you square this, you get 1 then minus, when you square this, you get a 3. So there I see we have r as, as 4 plus 2 root 3 over negative 2, which we can use to simplify 2. Negative 2 divides there, you get 2. Negative 2. Then this divides here, you get negative and root 3. And that's how you can simplify that number there. So whenever you have this agreement, I rationalize. Now, all of your students, we are stopping here. 
Then this one is for NFO students. Now, NFO, we know, we ask now they are living this side 75. And so 75 is not our special ammo. Then they ask yourself, are there any angles that I can add in from the special angles why I can sample back to get 75? If you look at the, if there is any pair you can add and get 75, I think we have seen that when we add 30 and this we get 75. So we are hiding those two. So meaning here we will be having this will be a combination of sign now 30 then plus 45. And I simplify this, I go back to 75. Now we have seen how we expand this. How we expand this? We can we have seen when we expand sign when we have two angles. So we have sine 30, then cos 45, then plus, then sine 45, then cos 30 degrees. So now it's like we have everything. Sine 30 is our half. Then cos 45, cos 45 is root 2 over 2. Then plus sin 45 is root 2 over 2 from here. Root 2 over 2. Then cos 30 is root 3 over 2 from here. Then here we just simplify. We have root 2, this and this. Then over 4, then plus root 2 times root 3 to the root 6 over 4, which you can easily write as into root 2 plus root 6, and you there, you want to do. Okay, now let us come to this. Now it's that also 15 is not in these angles. So then you ask yourselves, are there any angles in this special? All the ideas should be about special angles. Now, can I add anything and I get 15? No, because 15 is below the meaning. The ordinary way you have to get 15 is maybe when you subtract some of these angles. So, not that when I subtract this and this, I get 15. Or when I subtract this and this, I get 15. So, anyway, you use. You either use this pair and this, or you use this and this. So, how do we add, how do we go about that? Now, this will be very easy. So, this one is going to be now cause or you either use. This and this, or this and this, all of them will give you the same answer. Let me take the smallest. Let me take now 45 and 30. So when I subtract 45 minus 30, or oh, someone can be adding cos of 60, then minus 45. So all of them are going to give you the same. So I'm going to use this one here. This will be now, you know now how we expand cos. Okay? We know how we expand because if it's negative, then we add. But for size, if it's positive, we add also. But here, it's the opposite. So expanding this, we have now cos 45, cos 30, then plus sin 45, then sin 30. So cos 45, root 2 over 2, then this will be root 3 over 2. The cos 30, if you see it there. Then plus sine of 5, root 2 over 2. Then the sine of 30 is a half. Can you simplify? This will give us root 6 over 4. Then plus root 2 over 4, which we can when we factorize out a quarter. We have root 6 plus root 2. And that becomes our answer. So this is the break this. Now you try out when we have cos 75. Now we will be adding the so on. So you can also use the Detroit right out this now. Here we are using this one. Anyway, now we come here. We have tan 105. What is it? Do you see? Can you subtract? Of course, when you subtract any of these, we can get an hundred something. It means that we have to add some of them. When I add this and this, I get 70. So that, that doesn't work. When I add this and this, I get 90. It doesn't work. When I add now this and this, that's when I get 100. Five. So meaning this will be the same as an of n start with a double five or sixty. But five then plus sixty degrees. So when I add this, I come back to that. Now you know how we expand tan. This will be now tan for five plus tan sixty. The whole of 
าการกดไฟเดนไนส์การ60 degrees and you see it's the number we have here then you see the answer is going to be the plus there anyway so this is one plus root three over one minus root three and all of this is going to be because we have already simplified this negative two then minus root three to the is but you show the work in forex so now you try it out this one you try out for me and in degrees you try out then the one for cos cos 75 degrees you can also try for me sign of the degrees and your exercise so that's it members this was for enable students then this one was from here but enable of course you can cover the world so that's it members i wish you well Hmm. Hmm.